Now we have written the code to place the words either horizontally or vertically. We have to do the part 4 diagonal placement. We will do it later. But as of now the issue is that some letters are getting replaced with the letters of some other words. That is here you could see that the word butter is not getting displayed completely. Why? Because B-U-T is there. After that we need to have T-E-R. But jam replaced those three letters. Here the word milks M is replaced with the letter of the word sugar. Like that also here K is replacing the letter A of word sugar. So before adding the letters of each word, we need to make sure that the div elements are not already occupied. If it is already occupied, we need to place them in some other location, right? So we are going to do that part now. So how we can do that? Here, before placing the letters, let me have where occupied equals we are going to write a function for that so check occupied and for this function we need to pass the word right then only we can check the number of letters in a word here I am going to pass the word itself my array of i this will be the word then we need to pass the new start value which is the starting position we have created so new start and also we need to pass the orientation. So using these three values we can check whether the space is already occupied or not. So let us write the function check occupied now. So here let me write function check occupied. What all values we are getting? Word then starting then also orientation. Okay then how we can check whether the place is already occupied or not? We can check whether it is having the attribute data word because when we add the letters here, we are actually adding a new attribute data word with that particular word. So if that development is having the attribute data word, it means that it is already occupied. So let us write the logic like that. So here, as we have done while placing the letters, we need to check the next position. So let me have where status, this will be returned like occupied or empty. And also let me have another variable next letter or increment by, let me have it like increment by, okay, equal to 0. Then if direction is row, that is orientation equal equals row, in that case increment by should be 1, right? increment by equal to 1 then else if orientation equal equals column then increment by should be 12 right next what we need to do here before placing the word resc we need to make sure that none of these div elements are having any other letter right so what should we do we have the starting position that is the position of this div element and we need to check for four spaces that is for four div elements the data word attribute is not there. So here the data word attribute will be there for the fourth div element right. We have already assigned the value increment by one. So here we will have to start from here and increment by one four times for the number of letters in this word. And here we will have data word attribute for this div element because egg is already occupying that is the letter G is already added here which means that this div element will be having the data word attribute right. In that case it means that we cannot place resc starting from this position. Why? Because R U S can be placed but K cannot be placed as eggs G is already there. So we need to run the loop for four letters which means that the length of the word, right? And if any of these div elements contain the attribute data word, then we cannot place this word here. So how we can run the loop? After this, let me write for where 
let me assign the value p equal to starting. So, from starting we need to run the loop and how many times we need to run it? We need to run it for word dot length. So, let me set q equal to 0, q less than word dot length, q plus plus, which means that this loop will be running. If the word is milk, it will run 4 times, right? Then what should we do? Let us check the condition like if dollar dot individual eq, what should be eq? It should be p because we are setting the value starting here. p, sorry, we need to have the plus p plus. Then dot attr of data word, that is the data attribute we are adding here, right? While placing each letter, we are also adding a data word attribute. So, if there is data word, it means that already a letter is added there. So, let me specify data word equal equals undefined. What does that mean? It is not already occupied. In that case, we can return status as empty. That space is empty. Else, what should we do? We need to set the value for status as occupied and also end this loop, right? So, I am going to break this using the break statement. Hope you understand what I am trying to do here. We are setting the value of p equal to starting and q is set as 0, q less than word dot length, q plus plus, which means that this loop will run those many times which is equal to the number of letters in the word. And after this, what we need to do? We need to increment the value of p, right? So, p should be incremented by, increment by. Because if it is row, we need to check it for consecutive letters. But if it is column, we need to check the div elements at a gap of 12. Why? Because if the new word is milk, we need to check first for this div element then for this development, which is at a gap of 12. That is why here we have set increment by 12. The same logic as we have placed the letters. Here also we are incrementing the value by next letter and this value we are setting as 12 or 1, right? The same logic is used here and after the loop, we need to return the status value. So, it will be either empty or occupied. If any of the letters is occupied, then we are setting the value of status to be occupied and also breaking the loop, right? Then we are returning status. So, when we call the check occupied function, we will have the status as either empty or occupied. Then here what we need to do, here we are getting the value occupied, it will be either empty or occupied. So, only if occupied equal equals empty, we should do this, which means that we should only add the letters if all the spaces are or all the div elements are empty. So, if occupied equal equals empty, right? In that case, let me cut this from here and paste it here. So, in this case only we are adding the letters of that particular word. So, in the else condition, what we need to do? Else means any of those spaces were occupied, any one or two or three, we don't know. So, if it is already occupied, we will get the status as occupied, that is, this will be having the value occupied. In that case, for the time being, what we are going to do is that we are going to add those words which we cannot add because the space was already occupied. Let us create a new variable that is an array. Here, after my words, let me have where temp words equal to an empty array, okay? And let me add those words which we cannot add into the temp words array. So, temp words dot push. What should be pushed? It should be my array of i. That is a word we cannot add, okay? So, now let us check the output, okay? Let me refresh. See, we are getting milk, butter, oats, jam, egg. 
we cannot see the remaining three words there are one two three four five six seven eight words only five are added three are not added where are they they have been added into the temporary array let me console that that is at the end let me just try to add console.log temp words okay let me save this and refresh see we are seeing jam sugar oats egg and milk and here we could see that butter bread and rusk are added into this temporary array we could not see these words here right let me refresh once again now jam sugar oats butter and egg are added milk bread and rusk are not added here we could see that none of the letters are getting overwritten we are seeing all the letters correctly for these words but these three words are not getting displayed let me refresh once again bread oats jam and egg are added but milk butter sugar and rusk are not added let me once again refresh see egg bread rusk butter and milk are added jam oats and sugar are not added